Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Graylian Games, and I'm playing Hover Raider uh, for Commodore 64 in the Vice 64 emulator. Easy or hard edition? Let's go for easy. Now, um, I tried this game before. I had a different version of it, and it kept changing background colors really strangely, which seemed wrong to me. So I'm hoping this version is correct. I guess we'll find out. Uh, it's still loading. One thing I'm also trying to figure out is um, oh, I'll put on turbo mode or warp mode. I think they call it in the emulator. Yeah, it's still loading. Um, one thing I, I forgot to sort of note when I was previously playing a lot of these games, let's turn this off, yeah, is um, I could, some games were made in Siuk, Shoot 'em Up Construction Kit, and I don't know if this one is because it was, it mentioned something about it from the cracking group, but um, the thing with Siuk games, it was a cool thing, uh, you know, I used on Commodore 64 and, and Amiga. However, um, yeah, see, look. Siuk trainers, unlimited lives. Yep, we don't want unvulnerable. Yeah, we don't want invulnerability. Hi, saver op. I don't know what this means. I don't really care about any of that. Uh, low, let's just clear. Yeah, it, the thing with Siuk games is you could do kind of nice stuff with them. Scrolling shoot 'em up games. I even made ones where you had characters walking around, a bit like Gauntlet or whatever. But you couldn't get upgrades, as far as I know. There was no such thing as upgrades, and that normally made a shoot 'em up construction kit stand out. Having said that, if this is a shoot 'em up construction kit game, I don't think they used to have fancy intros like this. Martin Pipe and Richard Bayliss. Wait a minute. This might be a modern game. They're modern devs. Yeah, it just said 2016 in the scrolling. All right, so it's probably not shoot 'em up construction kit. Press fire to play. Okay. Whoa. Okay, this not the controls aren't working. I'm just gonna switch. Um, what is it? Alt J. Whoa. Uh, so go back. Go back. Go back. Alt J. Let's see if this works. Yep, it's working. Okay. I've got a save hotkey for saving. Yeah, this is definitely working. The last one was changing colors very strangely. So I'm a hover raider craft. Okay, so it's a modern game. Uh, I just downloaded this from somewhere, cracked by that Seat group. I hope it's not one they're selling, because if so, I apologise to the devs. I thought it was an old game. I tend to buy them if there are new devs, obviously. Um, there's no way to do that for old games, except for buying, like, you know, second-hand tape ones, which I do quite a lot of. I smooth the mouse. All right, no in-game music. Boats. Can I go on land? Oh! I think the tree blew me up there, not the land, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I'm not very good at this. Uh, I haven't been saving. Let's save. It says I've got seven lives left. All right, so it's a fairly slow scrolling game. You're sort of like, it feels like a tank. You move quite slowly, but you've got multi-directional firing. What else have we got? Ooh, some buildings. That building shot me. Okay, so it's a turret, not just. I thought it was like a hut on the side of the river. All right, so looks like that's a very small gap I need to squeeze through. So it is a shoot 'em up. It's unusual. It's a bit like a tank game, like I said. Oh, I've got unlimited lives, so I don't think I have to worry about saving and reloading. Um, are there power-ups? That would be my next question. I mean, the trees aren't bad. They're quite nice sprites. The water's scrolling or got some fancy edge. That's kind of cool. Oh, those speedboats were a tad fast. I noticed it spawns you in the middle of the screen at the bottom and you could get spawned on, to lo on a load of trees, but it does have invulnerability. It's flashing. All the glorious colors of the Commodore 64. Oh, there's a boat. Let's get rid of it. Oh. Okay. Can I hover over this? This? No, I guess is the answer. I guess that was like a crane or something. All right, we're hovering on land. Let's destroy these vehicles. How dare they attempt to drive near me? Is that leaving a crater or a wreck? I can't really quite tell. In fact, did it leave the same shape on the water? Because that would be weird. It sort of does. Now it's plain blue, that's weird. They haven't got any form of, okay, it's a boss. Boss ship, right, it's to death. 
Really? It just scrolls past? I thought that might be something I have to fight. Is this a different one? Okay, cool. Oh, you can crash into it, right? We know that now. So, get as many turrets as you can and then get out of the way, I think. Ooh. Yeah, it's interesting. I I honestly can't say I've seen a hovercraft um, video game before. What was I playing recently? Um, ooh, I was playing some kind of game recently where there was a hovercraft and I thought, oh, I ought to better get on that. Oh, I think it was Rage 2 or something. And in the swamps, there are hovercrafts maybe. And I thought you can get on one and, and uh, zoom around in it like Gentle Ben, the TV show. But alas, it wouldn't let me. I think that was Rage 2. Maybe something else I was playing along those lines. Okay, well, this all looks safe to hover over. Definitely not seen any power-ups. I've just got this three-way bullet thing. So I think the coder was the coder or the artist Richard Bayliss, Martin Piper Richard Bayliss. I'm pretty sure I've seen some other games by them. It's possible they got, you know, better at making 64 games over the years if they're still making them. I hope they are. It's pretty cool, the modern homebrew scene. Oh. Yeah, there's not many sprites. I mean, I'm guessing the player bullets are sprites, actually. Oh, I'm trees. I forgot all about trees. There's not many enemies, but to be honest, it's quite hard to control because your ship is slow and because you fire in the direction you're moving. It is quite hard. So fighting a lot of enemies would be tough. So yeah, it scrolls at a fairly decent pace. Ship is a bit slow. No obvious power-ups. Um, it's got sound effects. I like sound effects and music, you know, when they have a sort of two channel music and one for sound effects or or they cut out a less vital channel of music to play the sounds. Sounds are fine though, functional. Um, yeah, I was going to say bosses. That wasn't really a boss, those ships. They were just sort of things you scroll past, so... Um, not really bosses. I mean, I'm not actually a giant fan of bosses because often they're just too hard and take too long. I don't mind if they're a bit tougher than the general thing, but if you have to try them multiple lives over and over until you're frustrated, then I think that's not a good thing for video games. And some shoot them up to like only bosses, which really turns me off buying them. I actually prefer the, the general sort of scroll along and shoot weak enemies I mean you want a term I recently found out from watching videos even though I've known about the type of thing they refer to for ages is popcorn so if you've got easy one-shot enemies that's called popcorn apparently uh, and then you want the bosses and then you also really want um, some medium damage enemies you know that take take a few hits otherwise it's just all popcorn and then I don't know it feels like some you want some that are a bit more challenging I mean they can be challenging by having more armor more speed interesting flying patterns dangerous weapons there's a lot you can do obviously yeah this is a bit weird this blue bit I feel like oh I've got an extra life 10,000 felt like the blue bit needed some pattern on the waves it almost feels like a an incomplete game this like, I mean well I've seen way worse ones and this is fun and I'm continuing to play it which is a good sign but it almost feels like I wonder if this is it sort of thing you know and you go oh, it's not bad neat you know neat little demo am I supposed to go around on the right see look by the time I realized that I'm stuck did I have to memorize the layout maybe uh, I've gone back to playing with keyboard for now. I was trying with um, Xbox controller. Oh, Area 3. Xbox controller was nice, actually, to play with and a bit better because you can't hear me whacking on the keys. But um, the issue is if you need to save and reload, you have to take your hands off the controller and put them on the keyboard and save and reload. And for for fast-paced games, it's actually hard to sort of do that. So for now, I'm back to keyboard. Aha, that boat didn't get me. Area 3. So yeah, what's different about it? It's still a river with trees, I guess, that they ultimately, if you've got a hovercraft, you're 
somewhat limited with terrain. You could go through mountains or rocky areas. That could be another option. Sort of deserts, I guess. I mean, why is a river? But you know, Egypt is an option. Um, can I blow that up? That's not a turret. No, that is just a hut. Those guns on the side look dangerous, but they don't do anything. Okay, well, I might have reached the end of what I want to see with this game. Oh, look, we have actually got this sort of built-up area. This is a bit more, a bit more interesting scenery. I don't want to crash into the docks and things. This bit was kind of cool. Kind of a nice little bit of level design. A bit of variation. Ah, oh, I can see that this would be tough as a sort of restrictive funnel just pushing you down. Well, yeah, look, see, it's got thinner. And I've got to get around this dock without crashing. Okay, yeah, fine. Helicopter, different style of enemy. See, fast moving, interesting movement pattern. But I sort of feel that's all there is to it. I think, honestly, if there was some cool music, it would be pushing me along. Can I get through there? Yes. Okay. You had to get through the, you had to destroy the bridge and get through. That's kind of interesting. Not a lot of games have destructible scenery that I've seen. All right. So this is a modern shoot 'em up hover raider for Commodore 64. Um, definitely competent, like, you know. Scrolling sprites and everything and UI all looks good. I can't remember if there was music. Yeah, there was a fancy intro, wasn't there? Um, but, but sort of a little bit lacking, a little bit. It needs a bit more. I don't know what that more is. More scenery, more weapons probably. Uh, more speed, which is hard to do if you've made a hovercraft game, I guess. Somewhat limited by the source material. I mean, what I've said before when I played a tank game was if if you're slow to move in a tank, at least it's thematically accurate. But I don't know. I think you could push the boundaries a bit with a hovercraft to make a, make a fast one, right? What about ramps? Imagine there were ramps and you could sort of jump over bits. That would be super cool. That would make it fun. There's an old game called Breakthrough for Commodore 64. I think it was spelled T H R U on the Breakthrough. And you're in a vehicle sideways scrolling and you would shoot enemies and whatever and I think you would jump over ramps and that. I seem to remember it being not that good. The concept was cool. Oh dear, I just made that. But it wasn't that good. What's next? Let's just quickly peek at area four, which I imagine is next. And oh, I've got to get around this. If you could blow a hole in the ship and get through the middle, that might make things easier. I feel it's a bit tight that making you go all the way around the side. And as a completionist, if you want to destroy all the guns, it sort of feels impossible. Right, area four, it didn't even scroll in, it just sort of popped in. What's that? Yeah, okay, I was listening to some weird sound effect going on in the background. Like a bass drum after I'd shot. I can't hear it now. Okay. All right, so this is essentially more of the same. So I think I'm done with Hover Raider. Not bad, not great. Um, it's okay. Have a little look if you're interested. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.